If you want to see more high quality videos produced on this channel, head to the link in the description to join the Thomas Trains 3D Patreon to get exclusive perks such as behind the scenes, content that never made it to the channel, as well as early viewings of future episodes. And now, enjoy the video. Duck's branch line gets very busy in the summer months. Extra visits want to take trips along the coast, and many which can put a strain on the engines. Phew! There were so many passengers at Aldsborough, I had to get an extra coach! Not to mention the goods work has gone up now that the markets are in season. We had to take twice as many trucks as usual. Doesn't help the twins are working on the main line more. This line is too big for the two of us. Indeed it is. Oh, good evening, sir. Good evening. I can see you two are being overworked right now. So you'll be pleased to know another engine is coming to help with the goods work. Oh, thank you, sir. However, a few days later, when they saw who had come to help, Oliver wasn't pleased at all. Doc, what's this diesel doing here? The Fat Controller says I'm to shunt your trains and take the goods work. Well, good to see you, Norman. Uh, let's get to work then, shall we? Norman and Oliver said nothing as both rolled off to work. Mommy, what kind of an engine is that? It looks cool. That's a diesel. They are more common at the bigger stations. You don't see many around here. Norman never normally paid much attention to the passengers. As a goods engine, he had no reason to take any notice of them. But that child had piqued his interest. Oh, um, hello. He wasn't sure what he was meant to say to passengers. Um, good weather, isn't it? Got to dash. Um, good day. What a polite engine. We must tell our friends about him. And so they did. Before long, people were lining up by the side of the yard to watch Norman shunt. He felt very nervous, but proud of his new attention. It's unsafe. Oh, what's the harm? They only want to watch me shunt. An engine could get used to this. Hey, will you two stop seeking? The fat controller will be here soon. Ah, Norman. I'm pleased with your work so far, but I hear the passengers have taken a special interest in you. We can't have them looming around the yards in case they try and get a closer look. Oh, right. Yes, sir. Which is why you shall be taking over Oliver's morning service. A diesel rail tour of sorts. Oh, thank you, sir. What is this world coming to? A diesel rail tour? You diesels are everywhere already. Why would anyone want to see a smelly thing like you? Smelly? Smelly? We diesels are just as good as you. Now, if you don't mind, I have to get a wash down for tomorrow. 
must look my best for my passengers. Why are you looking at me like that? Have I got soap in my face? How dare you, Oliver? I know you had a checkered pass with diesels. I have as well. But that's no reason for rudeness. Norman has been perfectly civil. And the least you could do is let him pull a train. Oliver said nothing and went soberly to sleep. Norman, however, couldn't sleep with the idea of taking passengers. It was getting to his radiator. What Norman had forgotten in all of his excitement, however, was that he had never pulled coaches before. He just presumed it would just be like trucks. Now, Norman, I shall be boarding your first train to see how you do. If this goes well, this may become a permanent part of the timetable, until you go back to the main line. Oh, thank you, sir. Now everyone gets in quickly, please. All aboard the island's first diesel rail tour. Norman didn't hear them as he sped down the line. Norman was going so fast that the passengers couldn't enjoy the view. It was just a blur. Come on, come on, stop holding back. And then, it happened. With a loud bang, Norman came to a stop just beyond the platform. Sizzling spark plugs, what was that? Looks to me like all that bombing has burst the brake pipe. <laughs> Must be why you're being held back. <laughs> oh no! Oh no is right. We have had the bumpiest journey I've ever had. And now these coaches will need to go to the works. <sighs> oh dear Norman. I thought I could trust a sensible engine like you. Mr Oliver, don't be too mean to him. Remember how you felt after you fell down that turntable on your first day? Oh, I'm going to regret this. Well, sir, maybe I could show Norm how to handle coaches and he could try again. R really? Well, as somewhat of an expert myself, I could spare the time. That sounds like a fantastic idea. Oh, um, Mr. Oliver, is this such a good idea? Of course it is, Toad. Now, Norman, just buffer up to Toad slowly. Well, okay then. Just relax, Norman. You can do it. Just don't panic. Don't panic. PANIC! This will be a long day. After a rocky start, Norman started to learn quickly. He was buffering up slowly, running smoothly, and made extra sure not to bump Toad. You've got it, Mr. Norman. Oh, um, thank you, Toad. I just hope I can do this under pressure. Coaches are so different from trucks or brake vans. Well, I have faith in you. You've shown more care here than any other diesel I've known. Well, thank you. Let me go refill before I take the train. Morning, Norman. How's the training coming? Good, thanks. Oliver seems to have completely changed his tune now. It's remarkable how he speaks so differently to me now. <laughs> you can thank Toad for that. If it was up to Oliver, he'd have left you to be sent off in disgrace. But why? I haven't done anything to him. Oh, don't take it personally. He was on the run from Diesels for years when he left the mainland. It left quite the bad first impression. Not helped by how stubborn he can be. Oh my! I had no idea. Well then, I'll make sure his training isn't wasted on me. So, sorry about that. J just getting used to this. The passengers were unsure about boarding, 
but with a little encouragement of half price tickets from the pack controller, they gladly got on board. Keeping Oliver's teachings and Duck's words in mind, Norman tried his best to be gentle with the train, despite his rough nature. Well done, Norman. That was much better than before. I see Oliver's training worked well. It seems you two really do make a good pair. Oh, thank you, sir! You did well! Indeed he did. In fact, I would like you to work here on the Little Western a little longer. Donald and Douglas are doing a fine job on the main line and would like to work there on a more permanent basis. Would you like to work here in their place? Norman was unsure. Moving from the diesel works would be a big change. But after a few seconds, he smiled. I would be delighted, sir. As would I. Then that's settled. Norman now resides at Arlsberg Sheds with Duck, Oliver and Toad. He has fit into the team well, not only with his rail tours, but even on normal goods work. On rare occasions, when Duck or Oliver are unwell, he has even pulled the daily passenger train. Everyone agrees that while he is very different, the Little Western would not be the same without him.